Winter is nosebleed season. A lot of the time we treat these with prefabricated nasal packings, but they really hurt and sometimes patients don't tolerate them or they tend to migrate out of their nose or for whatever reason they just aren't effective. Here's a way to make a much more comfortable packing that works great. First, tape the ends of two tongue depressors together to make some tongs and then trim down the ends of two of those little green swabby sponge sticks that we have. Next, take an absorbable hemostatic agent like gel foam or Surgicel, put it in a kidney basin, and squirt it a couple of times with some oxymetolazone or phenylephrine nasal spray, a little bit of lidocaine with epinephrine, and if you have it, a little bit of topical tranexamic acid, and then mix it all together with the little green spongy things. Have your patient blow their nose and then put the hemostatic agent up their affected nostril, Follow it up with the sponge sticks on each side for a little bit more pressure, and then put on the nasal tongs. You can see why I call this the woodpecker walrus technique. If the tongs tend to slip off, you can have the patient pinch them a little bit for extra pressure, and even apply an ice pack if you want. Wait 15 to 20 minutes at least. Next, gently remove everything except for the hemostatic agent that's still in their nostril. Apply some benzoin along the side of the nose and the very, very bottom of the septum, and put a steri strip on, which will hold the packing in place. Watch the patient for a bit to make sure they don't have re-bleeding, and then send them home with the usual antibiotics and instructions. Give them the tongs as a gift. Remember that the super painful packing products are still an option if this doesn't work. Try to be kind.